Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about Microsoft's new design tool which is called Microsoft Designer. First of all, you're going to want to sign up for the waiting list. So just go on Google, type in Microsoft Designer and just click on here. I can't actually click it anymore because obviously I have an account, but basically make an account in less than 24 hours, you should see this page here. This is what makes this tool so much better than something like Canva. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example. I want to create an Instagram post for the launching of my spring summer uh, 2023 um, campaign. Okay. And then the really cool thing is you can then go, you can either go from this device from your phone on my media, I'm going to just click on my media because I already have some photos uploaded here. And let's just go with this one here and then hit save and then hit generate. What's going to happen is it's going to automatically create some completely unique and very, very quick and easy uh, set of social media posts. What you can do is let's say you like this one, you can press customize design. You can customize it in various ways. You can add whatever you want, but on the side, you'll see this thing that says Copilot. This Copilot thing on the side is extremely useful and it changes whenever you add something new to the design. So again, this is completely new. This is not like Canva at all. I would say this is much better than Canva. So let's start with the basics. First of all, you're gonna wanna click on, you're gonna want to click on styles. And if you don't have a business yet and you don't have a palette that you want to work with yet, then you can choose one from here. So let's say you like the modern love kind of uh, thing. If you click on here, it will change everything to that color palette, okay? Obviously that color palette's a little bit garish. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna find um, a good font. I think we use Roboto, so we'll use Roboto black like that. And then we'll hit next. And then subheadings, we'll do Roboto um, condensed like that. And then for the body, let's see if there's another Roboto. It doesn't look like it, so we'll just use the same one. We'll hit go to colors, and then what we're going to do is we're going to find our colors by using a color dropper on the logo. So let me just find the logo. I don't know where our logo is. It looks like it's at the top there. So pick color from page. No, okay. Let's go on Google, type in two men logo. Yeah, that doesn't come up. Okay. So there's the color there. So we'll try and grab it from here. So pick color from page looks like, obviously you guys will already have your colors. So it'll be a little bit different for you guys. I don't seem to be able to get be able to get my color here, which is kind of annoying. But let's just say I got the color and we'll move on. So I'm going to add black and that kind of gold color, although I can't really add the gold color because I don't have it. But let's say it's that. Let's say that's our color, even though it's not. And then we'll go with black here. And that should be everything. We need at least three colors. So we'll do white as well and then hit done and then save. So this is our brand now. So if I click on this one, there we go, perfect. So this is how you keep everything nice and consistent on this frankly amazing design tool. But there are a couple of other things that I wanna show you. First of all, there's all the fonts that you can choose from, just like Canva, but this is currently free. Remember guys, it's currently free. It might not be free forever, but it is currently free. It also has this amazing little um, art generation it uses DALI 2, which isn't necessarily the best, but it's also not necessarily the worst. But the best thing is that you can actually add your own media. And what actually happens is when you add a piece of media, if you look at the co-pilot on the side, it'll give me some ideas of how to add the new media to the already existing post. This is something that Canva does not do, and this makes Microsoft Designer a lot better than Canva for me personally because I don't always know how to do these things, okay? Whereas this tool, let's add this instead, for example, or let's just add it here and let's see what happens. This should give us an option for three things now, which would be really nice. 
you can see that I'm actually just going to replace that with that if I can. Okay, whatever. You get the idea with the uh, with with that particular part of the tool. For some reason, the copilot's gone. There we go. Copilot's back. I really love this, and you can also make little videos with this. So that's really, really that's a really, really nice effect as well. So the actual art generation part is probably not even necessary to be honest with you. What this tool really does for you is it allows you to very quickly and very easily create new designs. So an Instagram post, you can change this to real if you want a video, or if you want something like a blog, a featured blog post um, image about uh, best for season suits. And then we'll hit generate again. Yeah, sorry about the noise in the background. I am currently at work, it is lunchtime, but I really wanted to get this video out. So you can see here, featured blog post image about best four season suits. I hit generate, use that image again, and it gives all of these different example, examples of uh, potential blog post featured images that you can use. It's already got the right resolutions, which is perfect. All you have to do is choose one that you like, and let's say I like this one, and then press customize design. You can then instantly download that, make sure you hit remove watermark, download it like that. This makes my life so much easier. Let me show you some live examples of this at play. So here's some examples that I made earlier and this just makes my life so much easier. I waste so much time creating little things like this on Canva, probably about 10 minutes per article, but now it's so much quicker and easier. Another little thing that I did was I tried to make a little um, like infographic type thing for uh, the middle of the article. The reason I did this is twofold. Number one is because it helps people stay on the article for longer. But number two, it might actually be indexed on Google itself, which might rank uh, fairly well for some keywords related to this topic. Okay, I really want to talk about this, guys, because it's just better than Canva. It seems a lot kind of easier to use, the results are better, it's quicker, and for now at least it's free, and it's like an AI version of Canva, which is super, super nice. The final kind of useful part of this is that here it says don't miss these upcoming holidays. This is such a great addition, so if you're in marketing for your website or whatever, let's say St. Patrick's Day, you want to make something, you can click here, and you can add your own images, and then, and as you can see, it's automatically overlaid onto this design, which means you can easily make brand relevant content for certain holidays. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you really, really soon with some more content, and peace out.